What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Ugh! Your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? Hey guys, Ardor Gamers here with another video. And today we are playing Life is Strange Episode 4. No, actually not. We're playing Episode 5. My bad. How are you guys doing today? That is still a very stupid question because you cannot answer that. Or well, you could technically comment that, but meh. But it's uh, meh. So last time we got drugged by Jefferson and Chloe got shot. Let's see how we're going to get ourselves out of that sticky situation now. I don't see how we're going to get out of this right now. But that might just be me being short-sighted. Because I don't imagine Mr. Jefferson having photos we could travel back with. But if he does, that's probably how it's going to be, because I don't see any other logical way the plot could continue. But that might just be me. Oh, so he took us to the dark room. That, that was uh, predictable. Very predictable. Let's see how this plays out. So we are tied up in a chair. Great. I take we're about to wake up now. Hello? Yes? No? Please? Yes? Yes? Yeah. So okay, we can we can look around. Okay. Chloe. So we're alone. What? Where? There's a folder with Max written on it there. It's a dark room. Great. So the perf two pictures of us already. Oh boy. Um. Uh, Case. Anybody out there? Please help! Okay, so left hand detach. <coughs> that is not my left hand. That's my left feet. Help! I have Somebody my help. right feet. <sighs> yes, we did it. Finally, I'm free. Almost. Okay. Pool. Uh, 
Look at the photo. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Okay, so I have to focus on the photo and we're going back and we're going to see what we can do to change this. I promise I would never oh boy. Like this again. I don't think this is needed right now. This we could just anyway. see if we can get out of here. Maybe. Okay, so... Is it still as easy as it was the first time? And I still don't understand why people have so much trouble with that. But, oh well. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Interesting. Hold that stare there! Stay Whoa! Still! You are aggressive! Christ, even in this situation, I did not expect him to be that aggressive. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! Whoa, That's calm cool. down there, Tiger. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew. That did not make sense. The second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. And I still hate you. I was correct with the purity of your Kate, how he acted to Kate. No, he is the creep. Oh boy. He's looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move. This is very creepy and very unsettling. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out. Along with our kid. Oh boy. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from the Oh, I see what happened. Right into my oh my god. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed it. that Nathan killed it. Oh, himself. no way. No fucking way. Like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. You're horrible. Now this you know that, happen. right? Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. You don't have to be that way. That's not a good way to do this either, even if you are a creep. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Oh no. Oh. You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. So you're going to blame me on a victim again? I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. No, no. Oh god. So what did that help? That didn't help us, did it? So we're back in the real timeline. Okay, so something did change because we pushed the card. 
who had gone from him looking at that to him being mad about or spilling his drugs over that. Interesting. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. My photos are loose now. That is very convenient, but I can see why that happened. Okay, photos, look at that. Oh, I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Sure. This might work. Please work. Oh, really? Again? I know how this works, but still. It's annoying to have to do that every time, especially because it's so easy to do. It is not a mechanic I like, per se, though. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're I don't either! Max. <laughs> I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? That is probably my first question as well. Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are sick. Interesting. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura so basically you break team spirit to do this become my models you fucking nubbard subjects yes or rather a You're muppet a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner i had enough of those faux punk sluts in my seattle days Whoa. You killed Chloe. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Clearly self-defense, except you just drugged someone and sneaked up behind someone in the it's junkyard. I don't know. Like pure, sweet. Kate survived, but blah 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 as well. Kate survived. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will oh not get away with this. I want you to know that. When you told the principal that I made Kate cry, I thought you almost had me. Because I did it's have you. Your esteemed Principal Wells is like most administrators, a closet drunk. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. <sighs> you used Nathan. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated, like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. Yeah, you sick he was fuck. Sort of father figure for Nathan. No way. It happens often in teacher student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Of course not. Don't be stupid Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room? In the well, we already found the How stuff for that. Could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. <laughs> That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. Why Rachel? Chloe and Rachel, Chloe sure. Chloe and Rachel. 
You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Probably those. Why? Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. Whoa! Stop there, please. No. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway. So, look at this as a favor. You're, You're trying to talk oh, your own words You're good. good. Because you stopped Crikey. Your from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege from the Duh. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't Ooh. blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Well, Chloe, I agree with that. Rachel, and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. No, we did not. Choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. That is true. Certainly. Oh no, copyright strike. Please don't. Oh my goodness. Really? Sorry. This Let's look at the journal. All those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Okay, so I have to go back. Really? I have to go all that conversation again. Oh Christ. Okay. Speak. Wait. Please, Mr. Jefferson. Oh, phew, that's good. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. My diary. You you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. Oh boy. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh. Look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Oh my goodness, we can go to the past in the past. That's great. I don't need... Yeah, sure, I'll skip that. Look at that. Come on. We can do this. Yes. Yes, we did it. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. We're I'm back in class. Desperation. Whoa. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word. Back. Wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh... Okay! Okay, then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process <laughs> made portraiture hugely popular. 
mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined futures. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. Yep. Nope. <laughs> no, I actually yeah, didn't. So forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday heroes <laughs> Lol. change time. Winter to San Francisco, where you'll be fed by the First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Melissa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. Interesting. So. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. I do. So, a cell phone. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. Search the bag. Maybe it's in there somewhere. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. Okay, good. So you can now continue and warn David. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So I will. So I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Let's not forget to talk to Kate as well. Past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Yes, you probably are, but... It doesn't... Oh, Victoria. We could have been friends. True. Let's talk to Kate for a second. Comfort Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hey, Max. Kate. Listen to me. I am. <sighs> Always remember that you're not alone. Thank you. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. Thank goodness. I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Yeah, sure. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. That didn't come without failure, though. <laughs> if only she knew. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Yes, that's sad. Give photo. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Ooh! Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen. You should. I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victor. No! Then, I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. Thank you. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that. Ooh. <laughs> Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. Again? No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves yeah, out you can shut up now. in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Oh, you uh, fucking creep. Well, thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one. I'm actually glad I told him off because Victoria so wouldn't be jet setting with Jefferson. Anything can happen in a week. 
Because you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Because Victoria would have gone to, with Jefferson to San Francisco, where it wasn't all discovered. Now that would have meant that Jefferson could do a whole lot to Victoria in that time. I'm glad I did tell him off, in hindsight. Even though I did say my choice there was quite stupid before, I kind of am glad I did make that choice, if it makes any sense. Yes, they found the darn thing. So we're going back one timeline, so we're back in the first past. I wonder what's going to happen now. We have just fucked up time. They found Rachel, that's good. Oh man. I won the Everyday Heroes contest though. That's good. And Kate is there as well. Oh man. And Chloe? Chloe's in my room playing guitar. Amazing. That's good. Instead of being photographed by a creep, we are getting in a taxi to go to the airport. I like that. So I wonder where we end up now. Okay, no. that is an airplane. Keep in mind, we're still in the past because we didn't just jump two timelines, did we? Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. I hope you did as well. Good work, David. Yep. That sure is good work. Yay. Oh, oh you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. No, well, you're still in a wrong timeline. Oh boy. I don't want to use anything. Yeah, I used the thing. I'm still between almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. So am I. Hello, Principal Wells. Oh, so many people here. Look outside. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Yeah, it is. But you didn't need to say that to make this weird. Aww, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. <laughs> Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. Nice throwback. Crikey. Yeah, I don't really know what to do right now. Look at the thing. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Yay. Look at his newspaper, maybe. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Okay, so I'm going to actually say that. Uh, Blackwell Security in Coffers Bunk 1 Scandal. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell Ac Academy, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, photograph young girls and women. I didn't say that correctly, but meh. Although there were no signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent sh shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. Continues on the next page, but I cannot read that. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is Sorry for failing there multiple times, I couldn't quite read that right. It was too small. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco, with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip, and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us. 60 degrees! Oh, that must be Fahrenheit. Oh, thank goodness. 
These airline seats get smaller, so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I'll talk to Principal How did Wells. You sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. No, nah, you weren't. It's fine. Just a bit. <laughs> it's been a tough week at Blackwell, so I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescotts, things have been hectic, to say the least. I yeah, totally I can Principal understand. Wells. Hmm. That's a smart way of telling me. Sorry for yawning. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. <laughs> That's nice. So, can we get back to reality now? Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max... You're not just screwing around with time. Yay, we are going back. Finally. About time. What changed now? So he did still go... What? So we're at the gallery now. That, that is, that's great. Oh, wow. That looks lovely and relaxing. I don't think no, I've I've been to an art gallery once, but it wasn't. I think it was actually partly my grandma's art that was there. No, yeah. I remember. It's fun to look at paintings and see what what story the paintings tell. But that was mostly the paintings, paintings and not photos, so though. Cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as you <laughs> don't eat any caviar. <laughs> this no. is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I'm, I feel so weird. Like, I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. Sure. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Mm -hmm. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. <laughs> Max, I'm gonna eat a so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Hmm. Principal Wells is kind-hearted, even though he's a bit corrupt and drunk. Should be the least scary thing you've ever done. I probably should, but yeah. Wow, Look at so that. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should <laughs> say, artists instead. Nice. Uh, I don't want to talk to too many people here. The receptionist is not important. That guy's not even marked. Oh, it's a doe! I heard oh, wow. Was to Look at that. Not my style, but so the neon shocking. is a nice representation. Oh, I like shit. that. Pretentious alert. Let's speak to this random person. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. Sure, thank you. Let's go down here. Anything here? No. Oh, the statues. Hee <laughs> hee. I like that. Let's look at them. That one is kind of silly. Yes, it is. These are all kind of silly. I would love to have this on a shelf. Someday. Low. And last one. I like. Imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. Yeah, it probably does take a lot of time. Oh, I wish we could have made a photo of that or something. Let's talk to this woman. Speak. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Oh, thank you. Just kind of a program teacher, kind of got arrested. 
Don't really need to talk here. Oh my goodness! This man? That is the one! That's the rude man from Arcadia Bay! LOL! <laughs> that is funny. For sure. Let's see if I have any texts. Oh my goodness, I have a lot of texts from Chloe. Yay, okay, that's good. Okay. Kate? Mm -hmm. mm, Victoria. No fucking way should you have won the EH contest. I bet you blackmailed Jefferson. You should have just used the photo you took of me covered in paint. That's what an everyday hero does, right? Victoria, I'm sorry. That's the past now. Thanks, Gandhi. But I'm still going to make your life hell. Well, sure. Sure you do, Victoria. Warren. No... Okay, that's not interesting. Mom, yeah, it's still that's not interesting. Dana, your girl on fire. That girl is on fire. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay, um, understand. Okay, so I don't really want to talk to Principal Wells more. I already did. I do not understand. No, some people may not. That sounds like the homeless woman, though. Let's talk to the journalist. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images so I, I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance uh, here's my card so great talking with you Max you too Danny except you just said everything in that whole conversation okay let's let's look at my picture hey and there she is to save the day Low. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. It's too good it's to be true. Hmm. <laughs> Lol. Oh no. Oh fuck! I did say it. It's too good to be true. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that didn't get much better, did it? Crikey. Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Well, they're looking at me like, what the heck is she doing? Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. I just looked at all my text messages. Why am I having six calls left? Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, can you hear me? Oh Hello? no. Hello? Oh no. We re really? Oh my god. Really? The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Maybe we didn't cause the tornado. Arcadia Bay is going to be just. That's something I always questioned. Maybe we didn't cause the tornado. Maybe that was there just going to, to happen. To stop this. For good. As in, maybe the tornado was always going to happen. And we just got visions to try to save the town. Or maybe even Chloe, considering the timing. Sure, let's focus on the photo. Let's go. Yep, got it. Wait, Excuse what? me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... No, thank you. Let's go. Let's see if we can do this now. Oh, I think we had it. No, it's getting worse. It's getting better. Okay, good. Good. We got it. Yep. Good. Finally. Oh boy. What do we have to fix now? No! We're back here! Oh, never mind. It's just my room. Oh shit. Oh my head. 
Oh my goodness. It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to die? Is it me or is that a face here? Oh man, that's creepy. My previous timeline was so perfect. I'll accept that I need to be in Arcadia Bay, not San Francisco. Oh boy. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Tear the photo. Sure. But then he might Sorry, not. San Francisco. Chloe comes first. But what's going to happen now? Where are you going to be now? Yeah, we shred the photo. So we didn't go there. But where are we now? Mads? No! Oh, fuck no! Oh, hell no! No! That is not fair! Oh my god. Oh, fuck! God, no! I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything! What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. That's Jesus. true. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Let's kick him in the balls. Well, you could certainly... Yeah, fuck you. I don't, I don't want to be rude. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Well then. Your iris, that dilation of your shutter. Pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. True, we could have won. What a waste. Sorry. But how I does that equal stuff. David not coming here? I got a little carry. Maybe he still okay. is. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Okay, that makes Especially some since sense. You developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something. Weird going on with you. Certainly is. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Yes, yes I did. Like I said. Something weird. There's that fear. It's not really okay, never mind. It's, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. No, the they won't. Of youth. You <laughs> creep. At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. You just have a pleasant voice for lectures, so that's somewhat don't saddening, in a sense. You don't know what's happening. Shh, shh, shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. He does have no clue, though. Let's see what we can change. Don't do this. That's the preview we saw last time. Okay, that makes sense. So, what's going to happen now? Let's not do that. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. No. What? Oh my goodness, someone is coming. Let's not. Let, let's see. Should we warn? Or. Ooh. 
Let's not do that. Let's let's see if we can. Oh come on! We have to wait this out further, do we? Oh no! Let's go back. And okay. What? That's good. That's not Warren. That's Warren. Watch out! How? How did you know that? Oh boy! That gave him a scar because he shot himself. Actually, uh, let let's see what happens if we don't warn him and do something else now. Look around the room. Okay, so it looks like we have to warn him now. Whoa, that is too far back. I said one action back. No more. Christ! No Wait, way! Hold on. Can I? Can oh, I oh, that actually works. That request. Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Um. One last picture. Sure. What do you? One last picture of me. Sure. I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you finally learned from me. Sure. Maybe that wastes some time. Framed. I got a. Oh, that's actually a photo option. I didn't even realize. That's good. That's nice. Yay for photos! Oh, he's going to be elsewhere in the room now than with us, is he? Or okay, so this final dose won't hurt. That didn't help. Did it? Space to skip. Let's see if it helped. Actually, let's first see if it helps. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? Let's not warn him. Okay, we have we kind of have to, we have to avoid that being there. So how are we going to do that? Oh crikey. Wait. I promise you. Sure. So, turn off, turn off the lights. Could that work? And will you mind turning off the lights? They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer. That and won't really help, though. To be bad lighting. Yeah, that didn't help. That is not going to help us anything. But the cutscene scene is playing out differently, but that is not going to be helping us. So let's try again. Water, maybe, maybe not. And I promise you. Is it water or music? If you play music, he's aware that there's already people Could here. Please, at least play some music, so I can drift away. Even at the that end, makes sense. A dreamer, Max. That's a nice trait. Well then, he will know this time because the music is on that there's someone in there. And he's wasting time. Hold it! What? Yep. Whoa. Whoa! He didn't hear because of the music, but that didn't work. Wait, we had a choice there? Really? Okay, wait. We can do something here. Come on. No? Okay, we can. So that didn't really help. Okay, wait. Did I just say. Wait, what just happened? 
what can we do now? Can we do something here? Could have shot Jefferson there. No way, Jefferson. Okay, so we have to do the, the last option, really? The, the, the option that I needed to have, but it would last. Oh boy. I need to get some water. Fine. Some water. Uh, I'll try see, that. But my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be yes. uncomfortable. That is something we may be able to do something with. Okay, so... Now we have a tool available. I promise this may actually work. This final dose won't hurt. What? Okay, so let's not warn him because he gets a scar if we do that. Let's see if we can avoid having that happen. Push. That's good. No gun, no balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Warn, warn. Okay, wait. Yeah, that is not good. Let's not make that happen. Going and to stop warn. Me. Wait, oh, wait, war. Going to stop me. Warn. No, let's warn him. Going to stop me. He's hiding a gun over there. Okay, so that didn't work Sorry, either. Jackson. Let's retry. Jefferson, it's over. Pull. You are not going to stop me. Whoa, yeah, he got scared. That's good. That's good. Oh lord. Thank Max. you. Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. Oh man, I'm thankful David is here, and I can't believe I said that. I didn't end well. Thank you. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. Oh, yep. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Oh, can we take a photo of that? Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Yes, okay, okay, that's good. Shit, no signal. Not because we are in a secure bunker right now. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. Let's. Can we no walk out, or do we need to talk to someone? I better go outside and call. No, let that's talk first, please. please answer. It's Jefferson. Look. Jefferson looks so pathetic now. Yes, thank you. Let's speak to David. David, are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was going to kill me. You got here just in time. Yes, thank you very much. I suspected that son of a bitch. You suspected everybody. You kind of suspected everybody. <laughs> and this is what I get for wasting all those hours on the Prescott. Lol. I set my sights too wide. Lack of focus. I know the feeling. Well. You still had the right idea to tell the principal that Jefferson acted shady around Kate Marsh. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I'm sorry. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I can tell her that soon. That's kind. Me too. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But 
Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. Yeah, that's possibly the saddest thing. Then, Nathan, if only... I wasn't so stupid. No, I, I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and, and almost used it. I put the school in danger. True. We all make decisions we regret. That is true. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. Well, thank you. I had all the high-tech toys, well. You had each other. Uh, we're a great team. We... We are a great team. Sure. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but... I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too. But you saw how that went. Yeah, yeah. You tried. You tried. It's obvious you care. Even if your methods are... Yeah, I yeah. Know. I know. I'm glad I stood up for you. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... Yeah, I can, I can understand. I home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. That's good. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. Oh boy. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but... Maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. Hmm. So where is Chloe? Uh... Um well, we've been oh god, tell the truth. I don't like lying to people. David. Uh, Chloe is is dead. This isn't happening. Oh god. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night. Oh boy. When I was so close to finding out the truth. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I... God damn it! You needed to know this. I feel like you needed to know this. You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Oh my goodness, he shot him! Okay, maybe telling the truth wasn't the best option. He needed to know, though. Mm. What he just did is his responsibility. And he probably just gave a teenager Max. PTSD. But yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? He deserved that. That time I wasted with surveillance. I... Chloe. I'm sorry. Joyce. I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did yeah, he tried, but that didn't work out too well. Oh boy. Max. You better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. What if I just didn't talk to him in the first place? That, oh god. Thank you for saving me. He deserved what's coming for him. But he did tell him to die. So yeah. Fine. He died.
I feel sorry for David now. Glad it was nice to him in the past. At least somewhat. Okay. Um, when it saves, I do want to cut the episode because I don't want to make this an hour or more long again. So, Freedom. let's see if it's safe sometime soon. Yes. It works out of the bunker. That's good. That's logical. Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah. But why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm so we have to go there. I'm on my way. Interesting. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. It's okay. Me so too. am I. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. We probably shouldn't be driving that, but still. Better than not getting there safely. Okay, doesn't save yet, so I guess we're going to have to play through more. I trust Limbo have been warning you people for years that our culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, how I pay all those taxes? Oh man, that's that's kind of sad if you think about it. That's here. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say... Oh sorry. man, really? I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or... or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. Yeah, that, that's obvious. Mr. Jefferson, he's coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. I'm thankful he tried as well. Oh man. Oh great. So what now? Is it finally going Yes, it's finally going to save. Sorry for cutting it here, but this is getting too long and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!